What's up guys, Dr. Feelgood here, back again with another video prescription. And today, I want to talk about these Nintendo Switch CPAs. And no, I'm not talking about certified public accountant. I'm talking about cartridge price assholes. That's right. All these people out there, that whenever a third party releases a physical retail game, that there is still a mandatory digital install require you know <laughs> no excuse you always hear the excuse of well the cartridge is more expensive than the blu-ray disc well you know the the 16 gig cart is very expensive the 32 gig cart is really expensive so they didn't want to take on that cost okay i will give you that under one condition show me the proof See, all you guys talk as though you work for Nintendo or whoever they contract you to produce the cartridges. You talk as though you're actually in the home office or back office. You talk as though you're the one crunching the numbers in the background and you've seen the ledgers. You talk as though you help produce the damn thing. Well, you know. Uh, yeah, sing, uh, a single layer Blu-ray disc costs X while a uh, 8 gig cartridge costs Y. Where's your proof? I mean, since you obviously, you know, come off as very confident in your reasoning behind third party's actions, please submit the proof. Show me the wholesale price of a 2 gig cartridge, a 4 gig cartridge. An 8 gig cartridge, a 16 gig cartridge, hell, even a 32 gig cartridge. Show me the wholesale pricing on that. Not the price you can get it at if you have connections. I mean, I want Nintendo's price, their cost of producing each cartridge. That's what I want. Then I want you to tell me if Nintendo is the one producing them, how much are they charging the third parties for it? I want to know. You guys talk a big game. You talk as though you know all these things when in fact you're just spitting BS. You don't know. You're assuming. Even I know that the cost of Blu-ray discs have come down over the years. Hell, it's been over 10 years since its inception. However, what, what proof do you have? That a dual layer Blu-ray that holds 50 gigabytes information roughly is significantly cheaper than a 16 gigabyte card or even a 32 gigabyte card or hell even a 64 gigabyte card. Where is your proof? I hear you saying it, but at this point it's hearsay. If I was to call your ass into court, the case would be thrown out. On your part, because I mean, where's your proof? Like, honestly, if you find me the proof, I give you that. I'll give you high praise. But until then, you bastards of parrots. You just spouting random junk out of your mouth, hoping that people are listening and take you seriously. Even YouTubers that I'm well acquainted with, that I follow, that I have a lot of respect for, have made these same statements. And they may not be necessarily pardoning the third parties, but they still make those same statements. Well, you know, cartridges are more expensive. Okay, where's your proof? Where is the proof? That's like me saying a random wooden table is more expensive than one made out of metal. If I don't work in the industry or I'm not employed with either company, then how would I know for sure? How can you trust what I'm saying? See, no one to me is truly thinking about this before they say it. They're just saying it based on what they see. They see the pricing. Or they see the decisions of terror parties and they're thinking, well, this must be the reason. That's a decent use of deductive reasoning. 
but we don't know if it's truth or not. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And as I always say, keep it gaming.